Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Sam Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a career, money, and finance reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and this is going to be the mother of all year-end readings so stay tuned. I guarantee there's going to be at least one card that has a message for you. I'm going to be using like 15 decks so without further ado my darlings, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Virgo Sun Moon Rising regarding their year-end career, finance, and money. What does Virgo need to know Ooh, regarding their career, finances, and money? Now, if you happen to stumble upon this reading at any time, it is a timeless reading, so I don't want you to think, oh, it's just October, November, December. No, it's whenever this message comes to you, it's meant for you. Okay. Okay, so I see here for some of you, um, there's some things, there's some shady things going on here. Um, now for some of you, there are some shady things. For others, it's just um, insecurities. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you the multiple meaning, meanings, but I want you to only hold on to what resonates with you. If, if I say something, you're like, nah, that don't, that don't fit me. That means it's not for you. It's a general reading. So don't hold on to that. Just hold on to what resonates with you, okay? All right. So with the moon here, um, like I said, for some of you, I feel there are some insecurities happening around money. Your job, career, finances, however it resonates, whatever your what kind of whatever answers you're looking for here, you're feeling insecure, but you're trying to be strong. Um, also, Leo energy. In case you're involved with a Leo or there's a Leo here, but I see here with the Ace of Wands, you definitely are trying to be like more passionate about what you're doing, um, creative, um, inspired. You you want growth. You want a new beginning. Like you really want to make things happen in your career. And uh, with the nine of wands, you're just really tired. You're just really tired. Um, like I said, for some of you, there may be some shady things going on. Um, lies, deceit, um, some kind of deception, you know, things happening behind the scenes, you know. Um, just hang in there. I know you're tired. You're feeling drained. But just hang in there because I, I do see... Things working out for you. You just have to hang in there and be strong. Okay. Okay. So let's see. You know, when I got this table, I had no idea this was going to be so convenient like that. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Okay. What other messages do we have for Virgo? I'm also hearing with the moon, for some of you, it's it's um, circumstances out of your control. And that's where you feel things hidden in the shadows, things behind the scenes. It's things you can't control, but you're trying to be strong, you know, and stay positive and just keeping um, having growth and everything and uh, being passionate and creative about what you do. Even though you're tired and you're like annoyed and feeling drained, just hang in there. Okay. Then we have here, rites passage. So with this rites of passage, I'm actually getting, um, if you're waiting for a promotion, uh, I see that coming through. Rites of passage, I feel in this particular reading is more like um, ceremonial. You know, there's going to be something big happening. Um, there's some kind of ceremony. Uh, it could be also, like I said, getting a raise, getting a promotion, um, you just have to keep working hard and hanging in there and it will pay off. You will get recognized for your efforts here. Okay, things are going to work out in your favor. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Virgo? Oh, yeah. All right, well, I'm not going to take all of these. I will take these, though. Okay, so then we have here the fish, which is the money card. So you have the money card and then we have it's next to the child. Now, for some of you, like I said, if it t this tells you story, great. If it doesn't, some of you, you're going to be getting money related to children. So this could be um, child support. Um, I know, I don't know how long the government was given out, like stimulus checks to parents with kids. This could be the stimulus checks for the children that, you know, um, 
you're getting for that or if you didn't get it yet like yes it's coming in like you could be like oh when am i getting it it's gonna come in okay um or this like i said money through children child support something like that um even if you're doing like a daycare you're gonna get money for taking care of children now children aside this could be money that you'll be getting from a startup business something that's new and fresh a beginning Okay, because the child is also like childlike uh, status, like in the early stages, young stages, okay, beginning stages. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. Okay. This could also be somebody younger than you. So if you're working in a company or something like that, um, Somebody younger than you might end up being like your superior, your boss or something. And I hate those words because nobody's your boss. Nobody is your superior. Nobody's superior to anybody else. I hate those. <laughs> I hate those terms. Maybe that's why I work for myself because I refused. Oh, that's my boss. No, that's my employer. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> so let's see what else. Okay. Comment down below if you feel the same way. If not, it's fine to each their own. We're all individual and special because we're individual. Okay. So let's see. I'm using my initials, traits, and features Oracle deck, which you can purchase for only $25 at zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. Okay. And we're going to see who are you dealing with. What if, if it's a person, a business, a position, what are the letters and initials? of any of those to connect you to your money, career, and finance to give you the answer that you are looking for. Okay, so we have the letter M. So again, this could be person, place, or thing that connects you to your career, money, and finances. Q. D. It's a general reading, so I'm not going to read into it. Can also give you like a state or city or something like MD. Here we got Maryland. MD may have to do with a doctor. Q, we could say Queens, Quebec, and Canada. Um, F, France, Finland. First, finishing first, I'm hearing. Okay, W and X. Some of these may also connect together or individually, okay? Or this may have something to do with an X giving you child support, okay? Just to give you an idea, if you were wondering that kind of question, you can see how easy you can connect the cards and make them work. Okay, what other messages do we have for Virgo? Okay, synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So pay attention to the synchronicities that you've been seeing because that communication to you through the universe. Okay, what other messages do we have for Virgo regarding their career, money, and finances? Okay, we have artists coming through, music. Oh, we got a lot of cards coming through for you. All right, so look into doing something that um, is going to enhance, or not enhance, um, have to do with your artistic ability. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. So there's many different types of artists. It doesn't have to just be like painting and drawing. So however artist um, connects with you. And then we have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Same thing. This is very broad. But if it resonates with you, then you know what direction to go in. Writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So that makes sense here with the family card here with the children. Maybe do something where you can work from home so you're still around your family. Or doing something with your family. Uh, animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. And the last card from here we have is Builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So this could be like building new construction homes, stuff like that, um, an architect, anything that has to do with building. Okay. I'm going to go 
here now. I feel like you're going to have a lot of cards, Virgo. Okay. Okay, thank you. What are the messages for Virgo? We have coming through here, translucence, love the darkness, go into the unknown. It's okay. Some of you, you're afraid, you're scared, you don't want to do something because you don't know what's going to happen, what the outcome may be. Uh, just love the darkness. Go into it. It's fine. Don't, uh, don't be afraid. Okay, I have to shuffle these cards like this because they're... Uh, they're too big for my little hands. Okay, so let's see. Your message is, am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? So some of you are really, really tired and you need to take a break. So it's like your, your body is present, but your mind isn't. You need to be more present, okay? Especially if you're going to be doing stuff with music, artistry, or writing. Okay. What other messages do we have for Virgo? Emotional balance, the heart chakra, stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. Do so you need to learn how to balance everything here and I feel it's family animals you know like pets work you you know you just need to learn how to balance everything together you can do it you just need to learn how to balance it okay what messages do we have for Virgo thank you Okay, we have Parrot. Listen intently to understand Archangel Bokpi. And I feel that has to do with synchronicity coming through over here as well. Watch the, uh, pay attention to the synchronicities. Listen intently to your intuition because that is the universe communicating with you. And then we have Panda. Stay balanced and in your essence. Again, balance coming through again here. Stay balanced and in your essence. Archangels Mary, Jophiel, and Sandalphon. Okay. I'll put that there. All right, let's see. What other messages do we have for Virgo regarding their career, finances, and money? Oh, okay, thanks. Hold your vision, fixed moon. So hold your vision. Don't give up. What are the messages do we have? For Virgo. Okay, thank you. Okay, Virgo, we have here take action. Definitely time to take action. And compromise. It, it Compromise. Balance. It's the same thing. Take action, but keep balance and, and keep that compromise. Okay? For those of you that that resonates with. What happened here? Address your addictions. Some of you might be workaholics here, and that's why you're being told to balance and compromise. You might be neglecting, like the other one said, you're present, but you're not present. Like your body is present, but your mind is not present. You need to address your addictions. You're a workaholic. You might also have other addictions that need to be addressed here that are conflicting with your career, money, and finances. Like I said, this is a general reading, so this may not entirely resonate with one person, you know, so just take what resonates 
and leave the rest. If you'd like a private reading, you can go to zenwithinme.com and purchase one. I don't offer um, readings or spell work on my Etsy shop. That's just for products. And zenwithinme.com is for everything. Okay, so we have here change. When the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. So it's time for a change. You definitely have to make some changes here. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. Inner Child. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. So, I feel for some of you, you're not giving yourself enough time to relax and play and enjoy life because you're, you're working too much. You're um, just out of balance, okay? And then we have loss. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. So you're, for some of you, you're actually losing time. I feel here you're losing time with family. You're losing time like with your pets because you just work, 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 and you may not realize it because some of you may uh, honestly feel, well, I have to work because, you know, I'm the one that's bringing in all the money or I'm the one that's bringing in the bulk of it, supporting the family, whatever the situation is. But it could also be like you still, regardless, you need to have that balance. Even like I said with um, my previous reading, uh, you, you still need to take a day or two, okay? You still need to take a day or two to just be, to relax, to recharge your batteries, to just, you know, breathe. And then we have allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment to what's needed. Excuse me. So what's needed can come next, okay? So allow yourself to take a break. Allow yourself to be present with your family and your pets. You know, allow yourself as well to accept this change, you know, um, for some of you, it might be a loss in one area here, but you'll gain something someplace else. So if there's a lot of toxicity at your job, for example, and you're feeling tired, like you want to walk away, but you're trying to hang in there and be strong, you know, if it doesn't pan out for you and you decide to leave or you get let go, you know, it's because there's something better for you elsewhere. So allow the loss to give you that change so you can then be in a better place, okay? All right, um, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Like I said, my um, Oracle deck, Initials, Traits, and Features is only $25. If you wanna get that, that's at zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. I also have other products. I have my Timing Stones for $15 if you're interested in that. Um, that that's actually like limited edition, limited time once I run out of those. Um, as of right now, I am not making anything else. I'm working on other Oracle decks, so I want to just focus my time on that. Um, I have spiritual perfume. Spell work is already done to attract money. That's Enchanted and Love and Attraction Goddess, if you're interested in that, as well as the bath salts. The spiritual mists are only 15 each, and the bath salts are only $5 each, and that's for 7 ounces of bath salts. All right, peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.